Hi, this is Vanessa with the latest ASEAN news. Australia will work with Timor-Leste to develop economic sector in the country. In a courtesy meeting with Timorese Prime Minister Kairalo Shamanaguzbaum, Penny Wong said the Australian government wants to cooperate with the Timorese government to continue helping to develop the economic sector in Timor-Leste now and in the future. But can I say what an honour it is again to speak with and listen to uh, Prime Minister Shanana Guzman, who is uh, such a, uh, a towering figure here in Timor-Leste, but also in Australia. Uh, he's always charming, uh, he's always insightful, uh, and he's always very clear about what Timor-Leste's uh, Timor national interest is. Uh, I've expressed to the Prime Minister uh, the willingness of our government to work with the new government to realise uh, Timor Leste's future to ensure we work together towards your uh, continued economic development uh, and the realisation uh, for all of your people of that sovereignty and independence which you personally, Senor, have given so much to over your life. Shannon Guzman thanked Australia for its willingness as well as its continuous cooperation with the Timorese government in order to develop Timor Leste. I'm Sir Malo we meet many times, and she is a great friend of Timor Leste. We had a short talk, as we are expected to present the program to the parliament and needs to be approved. She also said they will support our development in any matter which we require. The Australian government will continue to support Timor Leste in various sectors, apart from the economic sector. Indonesian Foreign Minister argues nuclear-free ASEAN region. Indonesia's Foreign Minister Retno Marsuri opened the annual ASEAN Foreign Minister's Meeting, urging to keep the region free of nuclear weapons. The maintenance of peace and stability in the region is our priority. It is our foundation to turn the region into the epicentrum of growth. Therefore, we must keep Southeast Asia as a region free of nuclear weapons. We keep hearing warnings about the possible use of nuclear weapons. We also see nuclear power remains part of some countries' military doctrine, including in our region. We know fully well we cannot be truly safe with nuclear weapons in our region. No weapons is more powerful and destructive than nuclear weapons. And with nuclear weapons, we are only one miscalculation away from apocalypse and global catastrophe. The opening remarks of the meeting between the member countries in which the Treaty of Southeast Asia Nuclear Weapon Free Zone, which none of the five recognized nuclear weapon states have agreed to, was discussed. The annual meeting comes amid pressure to address the bloody political crisis in Myanmar and resolve tensions in South China Sea, where some ASEAN members have overlapping territorial claims with China. ASEAN will also hold the East Asia Summit and ASEAN Regional Forum later this week with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, both slated to attend. Indonesia Foreign Minister pushes for ASEAN credibility in plenary session. First is the formal pose. Allow me to tell Indonesia's Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi stressed the importance of the regional bloc's unity and centrality in remaining credible as she and her ASEAN counterparts started talks in Jakarta expected to touch on the thorny issue of engaging Myanmar's ostracized ruling generals. The meeting comes as doubts grow over the Southeast Asian bloc's effectiveness with some disagreement over how to approach a bloody conflict in Myanmar and the junta's failure to implement an agreed ASEAN peace plan. We are open for cooperation without alienation. ASEAN-led processes are clear manifestation of this commitment. We have invested immensely and we must maintain it, particularly now amidst more complex challenges. So we have no choice but to show that ASEAN can navigate the regional and global dynamics and continue 
to instill the paradigm of collaboration. We can only achieve this if we maintain ASEAN unity and centrality. We must prove that united we can address existing challenges while also ready to anticipate and respond to future challenges. This is why long-term ASEAN vision is crucial. Second, ASEAN can only matter if it remains at the driver's seat in navigating regional dynamics. We need to send a clear message that ASEAN will never be a proxy in great powers rivalry. ASEAN will also hold the East Asia Summit and ASEAN Regional Forum later this week with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, both slated to attend. Indonesian Foreign Minister says all ASEAN members emphasize unity on Myanmar case. Host Indonesia said all members of the ASEAN called to emphasize unity in addressing the intensifying conflict in Myanmar amid doubts over the bloc's capability to implement a two-year-old peace process that has yet to take off. Indonesian Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi, hosting her counterparts in Jakarta, added that the agreed peace plan, or so-called five-point consensus, will remain ASEAN's focus. The gathering of ASEAN comes as patients were staying among its ten members over Myanmar's military ruler's refusal to halt hostilities and start inclusive dialogue, as agreed by its top general in April 2021. ASEAN has barred the junta from its summits for failing to implement the five-point consensus, the only diplomatic process in play for achieving peace in Myanmar, where the United Nations estimates 1.5 million people have been displaced. Top court of Myanmar hears Suchi appeals to reduce jail term. A source familiar with the case said, Myanmar's Supreme Court is said to hear appeals by former leader Aung San Suu Kyi against convictions for misuse of state funds and violation of trade and telecoms laws over the next two weeks. The 78-year-old Nobel Peace Laureate has been convicted of offenses ranging from incitement and election fraud to corruption. Since the military arrested her during a February 2021 coup against her elected government and will seek to reduce her 33 years of jail time, Representatives of Suu Kyi made arguments in court earlier this month about her conviction for a breach of the Official Secrets Act and electoral fraud said, a source who sought anonymity as the matter is sensitive. The court is expected to take up to two months to deliver its ruling. The 2021 coup plunged Myanmar into political and social chaos, with the junta drawing global condemnation for its heavy-handed crackdown on opponents such as Suu Kyi. The military says defendants are given due process by an independent judiciary countering criticism for rights groups over the jailing of members of the pro-democracy movement in secret trials and the resumption of executions after a gap of decades. ASEAN foreign ministers meet as Myanmar Crisis Task Block Unit. ASEAN foreign ministers held a retreat expected to address an intensifying conflict in army-ruled Myanmar. Indonesian Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi hosting her counterparts in Jakarta said the agreed peace plan or so-called five-point consensus should remain ASEAN's focus. Five-point consensus is the main reverence and the implementation of five-point consensus should remain the focus of ASEAN. I will brief the retreat on what Indonesia did in almost seven months especially on the engagement with all stakeholders and on facilitating the delivery of humanitarian assistance based on the principle of no one left behind. The meeting comes as doubts grow over the regional bloc's effectiveness with some disagreement over how to approach the conflict in Myanmar and the junta's failure to implement an agreed ASEAN peace plan. Thailand Prime Minister announces retirement from politics.
Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha announced on Tuesday, July 11, his retirement from politics nine years after he took power in a military coup. His announcement was widely expected after his military-backed United Thai Nation Party was stumped in a May 14 election in which it won just 36 of the 500 House seats. He promised to stay in the charge temporarily until a new government is formed. The new parliament is scheduled to convene on this Thursday to hold a vote on who will be the next Prime Minister and outcome far from certain. In the nine years since his coup, Prayut, staunch loyalist and a former army chief, has survived multiple challenges via court cases, house confidence votes and a street protest by opponents who saw him as an opportunist who lacked in a public mandate. Thailand Foreign Minister meets with Myanmar's jailed leader Suu Kyi. Thailand's Foreign Minister Dom Pramutwinai said he had met with Myanmar's jailed former leader Aung San Suu Kyi and that she was in good health. That, that all. Uh, because most people are concerned about her health. So do you consider the 78-year-old Nobel Peace Laureate has been jailed for 33 years for a multitude of offenses and was arrested in February 2021 when the military launched a coup against her elected government. She denies wrongdoing. The so-called five-point consensus of the ASEAN is the only official diplomatic process in play of achieving peace in Myanmar. ASEAN has barred generals from its high-level meetings over their failure to honor the agreement. Philippine fishermen protest Japanese government plan to dump nuclear-contained wastewater into Pacific. Environmentalists and fishermen groups in the Philippines held a gathering to urge the Japanese government to find a safer way to dispose of nuclear polluted water rather than dumping it into the ocean. Cape said the recent trial operation has heightened their unease as the possible environmental and health effects of the nuclear polluted water disposal come a step closer to become reality. We should raise the alarm now uh, because uh, this is very dangerous and this poses a threat no? not only to uh, the Japanese uh, communities but also to the whole community surrounding Pacific Ocean. Dr. Sibilo David, director of the Philippine National Water Resource Board, has also raised concerns. Any type of waste uh, being uh, which are finding their way to our water bodies sa part ng natin wherein we wanted to preserve the water quality of our river system uh, kailangan these are properly addressed Representing more than 11,000 fishermen from all over the country Pablo Rosales from the group Pangista Filipina said Japan's discharge plan will greatly harm the interests of the fishermen in surrounding countries the decision has triggered protests across Japan as well as neighboring South Korea, China, the Philippines, and the Pacific Island countries. Minister and business leader of China and ASEAN exchange ideas on cooperation and emerging industries. Ministers and business leaders from the two sides have said China and ASEAN stand ready to contribute to practical cooperation in emerging industries and usher in a more prosperous and a better future for all. Chinese Minister of Industry and Information Technology Jin Tsuanglong made an opening speech on building better China-ASEAN cooperation. This forum is an important measure to implement the consensus reached by leaders of China and ASEAN countries and is of great significance for both for expanding practical cooperation in emerging industries and promoting regional economic prosperity and development. <laughs> Talent Ambassador to China said, Talent is the first country in South Asia utilize 5G technology to upgrade the telecommunication network in the country. Thailand was the first country in Southeast Asia to uh, utilize uh, 5G technology from China uh, to um, upgrade the uh, uh, telecommunications uh, network in Thailand and this 5G network can be used in various industries uh, in Thailand uh, in the handling of uh, logistics in production manufacturing so I think there's a lot of cooperation the initiative aims to explore more cooperation in the digital economy, new energy vehicles, energy electronics, building smart cities, supporting collaboration in the clean energy transition and supporting the construction of industrial parks for cooperation in emerging industries.
ASEAN founded in 1967, members of the groups are Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam. Thank you very much folks, we'll see you all again soon, stay safe and stay healthy, have a nice weekend.